hi, my name's Janelle and welcome back to another Behind the Brand video, the first Behind the Brand video of the year. Today is my first day back at work properly. It's actually a Sunday and I don't normally work on Sundays or weekends at all, well I try not to anyway, but my first video of the year just went live and I'm kind of just itching to get back into the swing of things. And I just have a few fun things planned today, kind of to help me get back into the work mindset. Um, so I thought I'd pick up the camera and just film what I get up to. I actually managed to take two whole weeks off, which was more than I was expecting. But to be completely honest with you, by the end of last year, I was feeling pretty burnt out. I was just not feeling very creative or inspired. So I'm really glad I took two weeks to rest. And now that I did that, I'm feeling way better about things. I have so many new ideas and I can't wait to get started on them all. In saying that though, I am not feeling as rested as I would have liked. Um, Christmas ended up being quite full on for me because Matt and I, between our two families, we ended up having four kind of Christmas events over the four days of Christmas, starting on Christmas Eve and ending the day after Boxing Day. And Matt also turned 30 over the break as well. He's one of those unfortunate people that have their birthdays in between the Christmas and New Year break. Um, so normally we don't do anything for his birthday, but he was turning 30, so we had a party, which was so much fun. But as an introvert, I am just feeling, yeah, pretty, so yeah, that is kind of what I've been up to over the last couple of weeks. I really hope you had a lovely holiday festive period, um, whatever you managed to do, whether you took it off or you were working. I hope it was a festive, lovely time and that you're feeling refreshed, ready for the new year. So to start off my work year today, I thought I would actually go and do a little bit of fabric shopping because I have a few projects in mind that I want to get started on, but I just don't have the right type of fabric for them. So yeah, I'm keen to go and check out Spotlight today to see if they have any new fabrics in because I pretty much avoided that place all of December. Um, Spotlight is hectic at the best of times. And when I used to work there during December, it was just so crazy busy with huge lines. So yeah, I haven't been for a good month or so. So yeah, let's head off now and see if there are any new beautiful fabrics in. My outfit for today is this dreamy tiered dress that I made last year and my favorite scallop tote bag. I'll leave a link to both of these tutorials in the description below if you want to make either of these for yourself. So I'm back from Spotlight and sadly they didn't really have anything new in. So that's a bit of a shame, but I did manage to pick up one item of fabric. So it wasn't a complete waste of time. It is this incredible embroidered cotton fabric in this beautiful green shade. I just think the embroidered little daisies on it are just so cute. And it's a really, really nice color as well. So I picked up three meters of it. Um, so I should be able to make something really nice out of this fabric. I was really hoping to find some nice linen bits. Um, I just wanted a plain linen in a really nice color, but yeah, they just haven't changed up the colors of their linens in Spotlight for a very long time. So I didn't really see anything I was that drawn to. I might have to go online and have a look at some of the linens from somewhere like the fabric store or something, see if I can pick up something from there instead. Um, but yeah, as for the rest of today, I actually need to restock my pattern crates again. I have a whole bunch of pansy patterns here ready to be folded up and then packaged up into their envelopes with their instruction books. I kind of just keep all the patterns in these crates here. So as you can see, two of them are completely empty pretty much, um, which it's not a bad problem to have. It's really exciting that you have been enjoying my sewing patterns so much lately. But this is actually going to be my last restock of the paper patterns until probably the end of this year or maybe even this time next year. And that is because I am moving to Japan in March. This is something I have been kind of working on behind the scenes probably since the middle of last year. Something Matt and I have always wanted to do is live overseas for a 
shortish period of time um, and Japan is one of our all-time favorite places to visit. We love it so much. We love the culture. We love the food. I get so inspired when I'm there to sew things because the fashion is just so amazing and they also have such incredible fabric and craft stores. I am just so excited to fully immerse myself into the creative world of Japan and yeah like I said I have kind of had this secret happening behind the scenes since the middle of last year. We applied for some visas, we got accepted and yeah we've just been busy preparing to move to Japan. I say move Technically, we're only going for six months at this stage. We do hope to extend our visa once we're there um, to give us the flexibility to stay longer if we want to. Um, but yeah, it's looking like it will just be for six months at this stage, which is a big deal for me because I am a complete homebody. I love my home. So this is definitely going to be a huge step outside of my comfort zone, but I'm so excited about it. I'm also terrified because who knows how things are going to go over there, whether or not I will be able to maintain my business over there. There's a lot of unknowns, but I think if I'm not going to do it now, I never am. And yeah, I'm ready for a change. I've been doing rosary apparel kind of the same way for the last two years. And I think, or maybe it's even three years. Yeah, it's just definitely high time. I change things up a little bit and yeah, I'm just... So, so excited for all the Japan adventures ahead of me. I will still have the digital patterns available to purchase, so don't worry if you're scared of missing out on that. But I'm also going to be working on videos over there. I'm going to be sharing a whole heap of my Japan adventures over there, as well as, like I said, all the fabrics and amazing craft supplies they have there as well. I'm so excited for that. I'm not actually going to be taking my sewing machine with me, but I do plan on maybe purchasing one or hiring one once I'm there. Because like I said, I'm just going to be so inspired and will really want to sew once I'm there. So that is definitely going to be happening. I am also working really hard to pre-film videos as well. So I've got a heap of tutorials in mind that I want to work on this year. So now that I'm back at work for the year, I'm just going to be hustling hard to get as many videos filmed before I go as possible. And that way I can just edit videos over there and still maintain a pretty consistent schedule. But in saying that, I will <laughs> most likely not be able to post every single week like I have for the last three years. So don't be concerned if I suddenly stop posting for a couple weeks at a time. Um, I definitely will keep posting consistently. It just might not be every single Sunday like it has been. And I may end up start posting during the week instead of just Sundays as well. So hopefully you don't mind that. But yeah, like I mentioned at the start of this video, I did start to suffer from burnout really badly. And I think having this weekly schedule that I have to keep maintaining has been a big contributor of that. I also felt like I couldn't work on bigger projects because they would take up too much time and I wouldn't be able to maintain the weekly schedule, which I think is a shame. I really want to start working on projects that maybe are a little bit more in depth. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to stop putting such a strict deadline on when they have to be finished by because otherwise I'll just be working myself to the ground, which isn't good for me and it isn't good for the content I create. So ultimately it wouldn't be good for you either. Um, so yeah, I hope you don't mind that. But as always, thank you so much for all of your support. I'm so excited about this huge change that is happening in our lives and I'm also just so excited to share it with you. I think it's going to be really fun to share what I love about Japan and all the inspiration I'm going to get from there. So yeah, it feels good to finally share that exciting news with you. So I'm not sure if I actually mentioned, but we're leaving in March, um, which gives me about two months before we go. Got a lot to do before then, both with my business and with just life admin stuff. So yeah, I hope you're excited as well and are keen to see all of that. For now, I'm just going to get busy folding up some of these pansy patterns. I also have some daisy patterns that need to be folded up as well. Basically, I just want to restock as many patterns as possible because this is literally the last time they will be available until the end of the year, maybe even this time next year. So yeah, if you did want to get your hands on one of them, then uh, I'll have them linked below. But otherwise, like I said, you can always buy them digitally and print them off yourself.
Okay, so now that all of the paper patterns are folded up and all the instruction books are made, I can actually get started on packaging up these paper patterns, which I kind of need to do because I've got a few orders that need to go out today as well. So I thought I would get packaging up the patterns first and then I can actually package up the orders and go to the post office. So yeah, here is just another time lapse of me actually packaging up these paper patterns. I'm wearing this dress that I made sometime in 2021 and I have honestly just been wearing this on repeat this summer. It's been one of my go-to dresses. I love it so much. It's actually made with some 90s rayon fabric and I just chuck it in the wash and once it comes out of the wash it doesn't crease at all. I don't have to iron it or anything. I can just pop it straight back on. Hence why it is the perfect dress to just wear on repeat constantly. <laughs> Okay, so it's been a good week or so since I last picked up the camera and filmed anything for this video. Um, and today I am wearing this new dress that I made last week. It turned out so, so cute, even better than I was expecting. I don't often wear or am drawn to this kind of A-line shift style, but this is the second dress I've made in the space of about a month um, in this kind of style. I have filmed a whole tutorial for this dress and I'm hoping that I can get that video finished so it goes up probably next week. And I'm really excited to share it because it's just turned out so cute and I have loved wearing it so far. Hopefully today I can get some outfit shots of me wearing this dress um, for the video I'm making and that way I can edit it tomorrow. I didn't end up posting a video yesterday and I feel really weird about it. Like I feel like I've let you down a little bit um, because like I said at the start of this video, I'm trying not to put too much pressure on myself to upload every single week. But in saying that, it just felt weird not uploading. Um, so I'm not sure I'm a fan of it. <laughs> but I have been so busy working on so many different videos in the last week or so. Like I think I filmed nine and a half, ten videos in the last week, which kind of leads me on to my next semi big announcement that I have to make in this video and that is I've finally gotten my act together and I am creating a sewing for beginners series. I have basically been promising to make this series back when I first started my YouTube channel in 2019 and for some reason I just never got around to it. I wasn't sure how to go about it but I actually sat down last week. I filmed the first seven videos for the series and I'm really happy with the content I've created. Basically what I hope to do with this series is take people who know absolutely zero about sewing and be able to teach them everything they need to end up making their own clothes for their wardrobe. I'm really excited about it and I basically filmed all the episodes for the first unit of the basic series and I'm going to be calling it Sewing for Beginners and 
yeah, today I am hoping to put together a nice little intro that will go at the start of each episode. So I'm going to get onto my computer in a minute and start working on that. I'm also hoping that this week I can edit the first episode so that the first episode can go out as soon as possible because I think it's like a really helpful you know, if your goal for the year is to learn how to sew, it'd be really nice to have them come out, preferably as close to the new year as possible. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. I have been wanting to work on this for the longest time and it just feels so good that it's finally in the works and I've gotten my act together and actually have sat down and filmed them. So yeah, I will hopefully be able to put in the intro to the series now so you can kind of get an idea of what this Sewing for Beginners series is all about. Hi, my name's Janelle and in this series I'm going to be showing you how to go from knowing absolutely zero about sewing to being able to make your own wardrobe. I don't use big words or overcomplicate things. I just plan on showing you what I've learned over a decade of making my own clothes and share all the tips and tricks I've learned along the way to make sewing a whole lot easier. I really am starting to have a bit of a problem. I just can't help myself and buy good quality bed linen and tablecloths for fabric. Um, I feel like I'm doing that more than actually buying proper dressmaking fabric. And I recently stumbled upon this brand called Linen House. This isn't sponsored at all. I bought both of these with my own money, but I thought I would just let you know about it because it's basically just a Australian brand that sells a whole heap of bed linens and tablecloths and bed sheets and towels, a whole heap of just like homewares stuff, but they're all made from really good quality cotton or linen. I know I probably don't need any more fabric. I've got so much, but I do have a few projects planned. And when I was at Spotlight the other day, I was really disheartened by the lack of linen fabrics and so finding this incredible grid linen fabric has just made my day and it's exactly what I was hoping for. So let me open these up now and I'm gonna hopefully get all of these tutorials filmed before I go to Japan and that way I can just edit them while I'm in Japan and then still have a consistent upload schedule and be able to still also give you as many tutorials this year as possible as well. So let me open up these fabrics now and give you a good look. goodness I am obsessed with both of these the quality of both is just so nice so worth the price I paid for them I can't believe it they're kind of I don't think they're even on sale they're actually on clearance so I'm gonna leave them linked below hopefully they're still available because it was such a bargain I definitely recommend you check them out if you like the look of either of these two fabrics I have recently shared my kind of like current sewing plans and I'll leave that video linked below if you want to go check it out. But I think I'm going to end up using one of these fabrics for one of the projects mentioned in that video. It was the project I had planned to make this fabric out of. I might make the Daisy Pattern Hacked long sleeve button up dress from this polka dot fabric. I just think that this fabric is going to suit that project so nicely. So yeah, I think I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching until the very end. I have made two pretty exciting announcements in this video and I'm so excited to bring you along on the whole journey. So yeah, I hope you are excited to come along for that. Like always, if you enjoyed this video, then it would mean a lot to me if you could give it a like. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more behind the brand videos and other sewing type videos like this one. Hope you have a lovely day and thanks for watching.